bright duty. Every student matters. Now the constitutional safeguards. What exactly these are? The constitution safeguards to protect minority community and import because of the Supreme Book of Laws and Regulations it provides safeguards because it is committed to produce protecting India's cultural diversity and promoting equality as well as justice. Backward classes can be identified by their so-called social educational backwardness. Backward caste can also be treated as backward classes. But the scheduled caste and the scheduled tribe do not fall in this category. The parties which enjoy uh, OBC support now destined to play a major role in Indian politics. The first backward class commission was Papa Kelekar Commission. A backward classes commission uh, was appointed by the president of India on 29 January 1953 with Kala Palekar as its chair. And the commission was directed to determine the criteria to be adopted in the within the section of people to be treated as socially and educationally backward. That means S E C C. And the Mandal Commission and its recommendations, like Second Commission on Backward Classes, was by the Janta government in 1978 by B.P. Mandal as its chairman. The commission had to define criteria for defining classes and to recommend steps to be taken to improve their condition. Now, Mandal commission details. The commission developed 11 criteria to identify the backward classes with other backward classes. The criteria are classified as social, economic, and educational, social indicators, Caste or class considered socially backward by others, caste or classes that relied on manual labor for their livelihood, and caste or classes where at least 10% males and 25% male, females more than average got married with below the age of 17 years in India, and at least 5% males and 10% females more than the state average got married below the age of 17 in urban areas as well. So, caste and classes when, where participation of is at least 25% more than the state average. Educational indicator. Now, uh, caste or classes where the number uh, of children between the ages of 5 and attended school is at least 25% more than the state average. Caste or classes when the rate of student dropout between the ages of 5 and 15 is at, at least 25% more than the state Caste or classes among whom the proposed states is at least by person less the state average. Economic indicators caste or classes where the average value of family asset is at least 25 percent is less than the average. And caste or classes where the number of families living in Kacha houses is at least 25 percent more than the state average. And caste or classes where the number of households having taken consumption loans. Is at least 25% more than the state average. This is Mandir Commission report. You could see this thing, Prime Minister of India, and he is committing people. And here, the Chandra Bhushan Singh Yadav uh, is giving, presenting it to uh, Kani Jail Singh, and it is written over here like Mandir. The Mandal Commission recommendations are briefly mentioned below reservation of 7% public sector and government for those who do qualify on merit, reservation of 27% for promotions at all levels for OBCs and OSCs. The reserve quota, if unfilled, should be carried forward for a period of three years and deserved after that. Age relaxation for OBCs to be the same as the SCs and the a roster system should be prepared for the backward classes on the pattern of that for the SCs and the ST, and reservation to be made in PQs, banks, private sectors, undertaking, government grants, colleges, and universities. The government to make the necessary legal implement the implementation. Whatsoever we have revised in this chapter, let's revise it. In what ways do pressure groups and movements exert in politics? Special groups and movements exert influence on politics in the following ways. They attempt to influence government policies, they gain public support, they sympathy for a cause, they carry out protests, campaigns and exhibitions to gather people, they lobby together to alter decisions. The activities of pressure groups are useful in functioning of politics. How? The activities led by the pressure groups can push the government to rethink on the policies and acts proposed by them for the 
depending on the demands put forward by the pressure groups they can make a positive country their activities like campaigns of protest can bring attention to the wrongful acts of the government which otherwise remain behind the curtain these pressure groups can help bring awareness to the citizens of the governmental activities and hence the political parties have to act in a responsible manner now describe the forms of relationship between pressure groups the relationship between political parties and pressure groups can take some pressure groups can have political ministers as their leaders the ministers of one party could try to affect the politics of another party by forming a pressure group and then political parties participate in trade union either as a host or by mobilizing support for such union to fight against the right party movements for a cause can end up being a pressure group in various cases an example of such a pressure the assam students that later became kam gan parishad they have an indirect relationship to where they are in a dialogue and and what is pressure group in the last question and a uh, few examples there are many indirect ways in which people can get government to to demands or their point of view they could do so by forming an organization and undertaking activity to promote interest or their viewpoint these are called interest groups or pressure groups example farmers organization bharti kisan union and all india congress 